Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to run through the trommel and basically explain how I built it and why. And I made decided to make this because I have health issues that I need to deal with and I can't do a lot of things I used to be able to do. So what I've done is built this just to demonstrate uh, on how light and easy this is. The whole unit probably weighs a maximum of 10 kilo, more than likely less. Um, I just used a cone which I bought up at Bunnings and cut that in half and cut the top off uh, to act as a chute uh, to actually slide down into the trommel. Um, I just made some brackets to suit. This is all loose and as you can see just slides into place um, you will need two drums because you need to cut the tops off one longer than the other this end you need to have a lid to go on it cut the lid out so you've got a hole to feed it in and it also acts as a buffing point here on the ridge on the back here it's quite thick um, which allows the wheels which are just casters these are straight casters again from Bunnings that fit inside uh, the track and they need to be inside the track on this end because this is what actually stops it from sliding down and sliding off it holds it in place so from there it's just basically pop riveted on with the lid otherwise the lid will just pop off and what I've done is used um, fine meshing I think it's about three mil four mil uh, as my main wire then I go into a larger wire to let the actual stone out and the very big stone will fall through this is uh, going to be made a little bit bigger. I'm not happy with it. Um, this is just chicken mesh or bird wire mesh. Um, but I need to make it a slightly bit bigger because there's a few stones getting through that uh, unless you're keeping an eye on what's falling out the back end here, it will you'll lose it. A um, chute's just made out of tin, uh, colour that I um, picked up and bent into shape and just pop riveted together. I've used rope on it because I use different buckets down here and I can lift it up and down then and it will just, the stone just drops into the bucket ready to go in the pulsator or put through a sieve depending on the location that I'm at. Down this end of the world, the legs up that end are fixed. They just slot into the tubing and they're a fixed height. Down this end of it, what I've done is welded some nuts to the actual piping with a hole drilled through so the bolt can go through, push against this pipe and I can actually raise this up and down so I can actually uh, adjust the, le the, the level and the angle of the trommel. The idea is, is you want the stone coming in that end to end out in this end and you've got to have a little bit of a slope on it and you don't want it going through too quick. Otherwise, you're going to be having lots of fine dirt coming down into here. So from there, what I've had to do on this, I haven't finished painting it up or anything yet, is again, this time I'm using four casters on this end. As you can see, just weld it on, top and bottom. Um, these ones are actually uh, ones that can actually move and travel with the thing because not all the time you're going to get when you make this up, it'll stay square. So it needs to have a little bit of give in it but not lose the track. Again, I've done the same thing here on the side by welding a nut on the side and putting a bolt through. And this makes it also, I can adjust that up and down to suit 
It's not a fixed position. The other thing I've done is I've just used a bit of water pipe, heavy water pipe through. I've got another bit of pipe that fits over the top and I've just put a spotter weld on top. Another one on the back and that stops it falling off as a handle. Pretty easy. Uh, from there, I've used uh, T aluminium uh, for the inside for two reasons. One, it gives rigid strength right through the whole unit. And two, it picks up the stone and throws the stone. So as it's going around, it's not just going to sit in the bottom here and roll around. It's actually going to get picked up and thrown and back down onto the other side. And that way, it's actually going to break the dirt off whatever stone's there. And that's less, you're going to have to worry about going down through this end. The better you uh, sort the stone out from the dirt, the better off you are. So pretty much that's how it is. The only things that I did notice when I first used it, I didn't have any twitching or anything along here. So I've had to drill holes and twitch wire because the biggest stone was actually getting under it and coming down and out through here, which was a pain in the, uh, pain in the rear end. So anyway, um, this end I've just used yeah, you know, whatever I could find it possible just to help hold it up, hold it on, and keep it down thing. I used to run it by hand, as you will see in uh, another video, but now I've got the handle on it. Makes my job a lot easier. Um, depending on the ground and the dirt you're having to clean, uh, the best we've done is 32 ordinary bucket loads in that time. And, you know, we got a few sapphires that day. Um, but the harder the ground, the less buckets you're going to get. And it's this job just makes it so much easier than trying to sieve it out and dry sieve it, then take it down to, the, uh, to a dam or down to a creek and wash it in a creek. Um, I've also designed this to take a spray bar um, to go through. I take this off, I take the handle off, and I have another bracket that comes down. It's only half one of these, and I'll run a pipe through there, and I'll set that up in another demonstration of something else later. Okay, this is the setup I use for when I'm on private property or at home here. Um, as you can see, this one's got the spray bar through it. I've just used the bracket on the side, holds it up, goes through, again it's all portable, just slots in to an oversized pipe, um, it's just using a fan belt and what I've done is used a um, 12 volt uh, Holden uh, windshield uh, motor and what I've done is actually found to make the pulley up to, to fit it is actually the rim of a wheel which also I found up at Bunnings it happens to be the right width so I just drilled the center out and made a little plate for it um, again you can see I've had to elongate the holes so I can actually adjust it up and down for tightness it can cope with about one bucket load at a time going through it just makes little things a little bit easier for me down on this end as you can see another bracket slops in um, piping up and through you can see the holes up through there it's just sprayed there uh, it's 40 mil piping that I've used. I've got a tap on it to reduce the pressure if need be, which most of the time you do. Um, and it goes on to a water pump, generally a uh, one that you use pumping up out of dams and things like that. And I've got a tap on it, 
and yeah, it just connects on down the bottom there. So anyway, that's the setup. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe down the bottom. If you've got any comments, put them in and I'll do my best to get back to you on them. Thanks for watching.